Hello. Hello. Perfect timing, I think. Like, I think you dropped it. In that. Anyway, good evening. Good night. Good evening. Whichever. I'm going to share this out real quick. So, we're going a little bananas. Yup. Yes, we are. But on a serious note, we're going to make some blueberry banana nut bread. So, one egg, one and a half cup banana. Oh, look at some of the bananas a little bit fresh. You, <laughs> you just got that on my tablet. Sorry. Some of the bananas a little bit fresher. But I've got party group that I need to share this into. And onto my personal page, as always. So let me get this taken care of real quick. Look, it's right there. Post that there. And one more place. And then post it there. Alright, now I can pull up the recipe again. We got someone watching. Say hi as you're hopping on so that I can uh, see who's watching with us. Where did I put it? Bum, bum, bum. There it is. Okay, so bananas. Oh, you need the honey. Syrup and yogurt. Honey syrup. So we got, okay, so we had a cup and a half of banana. Mm -hmm. We added one large egg. Yep. We've got a half of a cup of honey. Yeah. Hi, Debbie. Oh, over in New York. What's the weather like over there? It's stormy here today, but pretty. All right. Very glad to have you with us, Debbie. And what's that again? This is the petite measure all. So you've got your dry, sticky, um, thicker uh, measuring on the top, you flip it over, and you've got a pour spout, you've got the cup part to do your wet, like, liquid ingredients. Oh, was it a good, uh, was it a beautiful day today? Like 20 years ago, I went to, to New York City with my high school choir. One cup prep bowl? Yep, one cup prep bowl with the mini mini skinny scraper all right and we're putting everything together in the classic batter bowl so that was a half a cup of honey and a quarter of a cup of greek yogurt so that's what we've got there that looks really liquidy i don't know if it's gonna look that way but okay that's what the flowers for right right Vanilla extract. Oh, if I could smell that honey up here. I need to order some vanilla. How much of this? How much of this? How much of this? Quarter. I'm looking. One and a half teaspoons of pure vanilla extract. Oh, yeah. So, what did you get us here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Yes. Ooh, that's enough. Okay. Hey, I did, wasn't expecting that big of a pour spout. <laughs> you did not measure that out. I did not measure that out. So where's the where's the rest of that vanilla? <laughs> that that was more than probably one and a half teaspoons. Okay. <sighs> I hope the coconut oil wasn't supposed to be melted. It didn't say. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's been sitting out for a minute, so it's... 
Yeah. All right, so we're gonna whisk this some more. Oh yeah, definitely enough vanilla. Can you smell it? <laughs> I can definitely smell it. But yeah, I need to order some of that bourbon vanilla I've got on my website. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Alright, so sprinkle the mix we have from the yep. top. So next we are adding in the... Salt, baking soda, and cinnamon in it. Salt, baking soda, and cinnamon. So we're gonna... Just, I want to tell you guys, I have never smelled a cinnamon that smells better than this one. Let me... Let me do this whole show you up close this cinnamon oh my gosh it smells so delicious like it's got a very very flavorful smell to the palate to the nasal palate you can get it on the website it's one of our holiday seasonings it's only around during the holidays from my understanding this is my first holiday season with pamper chef so <laughs> from my understanding it is only around during the holidays so that's something you might want to grab up. Ooh, it's so good. Looks like it mixes very well as well. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got that. Sprinkle flour evenly over top, gently and patiently stir it in just until the flour disappears. Okay, so this is where you step in. All right, so we've got our one and a half cups of flour sifted. Hi, Amy. I was joking. So we'll just add a little at a time, I think, because it says patiently. Are you really sure I'm the one to do patiently? I don't know. <laughs> We take turns on which one of us gets to be patient and which one doesn't. Smart? Is that you? What? Patience isn't one of my virtues. I don't get the reference. Demotion, man. Oh, okay. Because it's been a long time. Just until the flower disappears. Okay, so... Go ahead and add some more. Do, 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 do. We are making blueberry banana nut bread. Was that the rest of it or? No. Oh, okay. Patience is a virtue. I already sifted it. Yeah, I know. Patience is a virtue. Can you guys hear my daughter's tablet going in the back? Oh, goodness. Okay. Scraping the sides really well because we don't want flour built up on the sides. Wow. This is definitely a test of patience. Because it just keeps floating around. Alright. Hey. hey! Do you want to come help? Uh -huh. Can I just uh, up on myself? Um, in just a minute. Alright, go ahead. Did you get yourself trapped? You're not really trapped, you're just being silly. Hey, I'm trapped. Made myself trapped. All right. Once I get this incorporated a little bit, I'll let little one come no. in. And... No. <coughs> well, go around, silly. She's trying to push the chair, Daddy. Oh, okay. She wants to be part of the video. 
guess it's a good thing I made her get her pants back on. <laughs> This is little Miss Mackenzie. She loves to help us in the kitchen. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hey, wait, wait, wait. How old are you, Mackenzie? Okay, wait. Stop, please. Four. You're four. All right, go ahead and add. I would say just go ahead and add the rest. You're gonna do it all by yourself. You Turn are, this little knobby. You're all about Turn all by yourself back. right now. Oh. There you go. All right, it's all gone. We'll just dump that last little bit in. Mm -hmm. Now let me try Let mommy mix this part, and then you can do one last stir before we pour it in the pan. What pan? We're gonna use our stone loaf pan. Yes, it's one of our new fall projects. Oh, projects or products? Products. Me, me. Oh my gosh. My yes, self. PC does need a sifter. Hey, sifter. Okay. That would be no. really amazing. Okay, you can mix in the blueberries. <gasps> That's right. We still have to mix the blueberries. 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 I love blueberries. <laughs> she loves strawberry. I mean blueberries. We've made any kind of banana bread, so I'm forgetting, forgetting. I don't know when Desi and Gabe were here, the bananas didn't last long enough to make banana bread. <laughs> well, that last one I got to get the final amount. Uh huh. Oh, and then some. <laughs> I had so to it pick took it about what the, uh, three and a half bananas. Uh, about yeah. About three and a half bananas to get the desired amounts. We need to use the other scraper and scrape the scraper. Possibly. So there's this Barbie version, Barbie princess something version of girls just want to have fun. It's princesses just want to have fun. That's what's going on back there. Yep. Nice and gentle. Nice and gentle. All right. So we should be, is this half the blueberries or is this all of them? That's the three quarters it calls for. It's not half, it's three quarters. Ah, uh, three quarters. Yes. All right, we're ready for that. Oh wait, the nuts of the blueberries first. So we yes. are substituting... Uh, walnuts. We're not using walnuts though. What are we using? Pecans. Pecans. <laughs> I'm so proud I got you to say that right. Yes, I am. Some pieces are bigger than others. <laughs> I will fold in those first. Did you did you write the recipe? Nope. But I do bake. And you don't want to over mix your blueberries, otherwise they're gonna start. Mmm. They're gonna start breaking down too much and then it gets like just blue streaks instead of you know whole blueberries all right now you can have the blueberries and gently fold those in so you get those nice blueberry spots a quarter cup half a cup Tell them how much you like blueberries, right? Did you misread the thing, or? No, I just poured way too many in the thing. Ah. All right, so now, we've got all that incorporated. We are gonna put it right here into our stone loaf pan. Super excited to finally get to use this. I really hope it's the right size.
Are you supposed to divide the con like the? Nope. No, so there's no crusting of them on top. Nope. Okay, I thought there was in the picture. Yeah, the walnut heads were supposed to be toasted, but besides that. Oh, but we didn't use walnuts. We used pecans. Mm -hmm. So. All right. That's that. Let's give this a little jiggle. It's very beautiful. <laughs> Almost did the, the salt bake thing. Nope, I don't have any bits of OCD. None. Can't spread those out a little bit. Yeah. I'm just trying to get it off the edge. Alright. And so there we have it. We're putting it into the oven for uh, uh, temperature. 35 minutes, then check the color of the bread if it's running too quickly at the corners. Loosely tint the pan with aluminum foil. Continue baking for 24 to 35 minutes additional or until the center comes out without any wet batter clinging to it. So obviously so we're not going to stay live for the whole thing. Hour-ish total, it sounds like. What temperature was it at? 325. Uh, Shree 350. So with our oven, we have to go 25 degrees less. All right, what's my first time? Uh, 35 minutes. 35? 35, yeah. Okay, just making sure I heard you correctly because there was noise in the back. All right. And then it will cool for 15 minutes before you remove it from the pan. Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> with stoneware, that's a little bit tricky. We'll figure it out. Yep. So we will post pictures and... Um, the link for this recipe is actually on my Facebook page, like my personal Facebook page, because hubby tagged me in it and, you know, basically saying, um, babe, we need to make this. So, that is that, and have we anything else? Uh, no, I can think of. Other than a very happy toddler who now gets to eat the blueberries that have been sitting in the fridge for a couple days. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. I'm um, out. Also, quick, we're all done. It's in the oven, because you went away. Come here. Come here. What can I do? Come here. Now. Tell them, hey, tell them that we are only 21 likes on the business page uh -uh. away from a giveaway. Do you want to do a drawing for a giveaway? Sure. Yeah? Uh -huh. And we're only 21 likes away from it. No, no, we'll pick a name. Oh. Oh. That kind of drawing, not drawing. In the meantime. In the meantime. Blueberry? <gasps> Blueberries. Do you want to try one? No, please. I do not want to try one. I like blueberry muffins, but I don't really like blueberries by themselves. So. 21 more likes on the business page, and we will be doing a drawing for something. Yummy. Don't know what yet. Probably something fall. More, please. So, more, we've got please. that going on, and yeah, that's all we've got. So, can you tell everybody goodbye? Okay, well, whether you want to say goodbye or not, we're going to end the video. Right, there's your blueberries. Look, blueberries! Yummy. All right, so... That's all we got for y'all. We'll post pictures of the finished bye, product bye, later. Bye, bye, bye. Y'all have a good one. Bye, guys.